Hi, I'm Joyce Krieger, and this is ArtLink, conversations with artists, art consultants, designers, architects, art galleries, art lovers, and art collectors. My guest today is a painter with a lot of degrees and a lot of talent. Her name is Kristen Stashenko. Welcome, Kristen. Hi, Joyce. Very nice to meet you. Nice Ted to see here. you. Nice to see you. So I've looked at a lot of your work, and we've had a lot of time to talk together. And I'd like you to tell our audience a little bit about how you got to where you are today, because you did not take the traditional path. Um, this is very true. I actually didn't start out as an artist, although as a child I loved to draw, but um, back when it was time to go to college it seemed uh, I needed something that I knew that I could uh, do as a career, so I went into science. I got my undergrad de degree in biology from UMass, and then I got a graduate degree from Northeastern in microbiology, and I worked in research for years at For Forsyth Institute. So I, I continued to draw, still painted on a, um, you know, for a hobby. But when I had my second child, it had always been a passion of mine to really do something with art. So I put together a portfolio and I got accepted to Mass Art. And it was like one of the best experiences of my life. I went, I was probably the oldest student and um, it was just so much fun. No, I, no desire to ever go back. Uh, to research? Right. No. <laughs> I love art. I love painting. I love what I'm doing right now. <laughs> well, for a while, windows seemed to show up in your paintings a lot. What was that about? Um, I don't know. I think I like the way the, the inside and the outside, the concept of two worlds. I also like the way windows reflect back at the thing you're looking at. So I think windows are kind of interesting. They're, you know, they have a little bit of a symbolic feeling. Doorways are like that too. I also like doorways. I think they're personal and to some extent. So Now are you currently showing in a gallery at all? Yes, I, I have um, pieces in Copley Society of Art on Newbury Street. Um, I have some solo things coming up. I'm going to be doing a show at the Rhode Island Watercolor Society in the summer. Have it's you done any of the works for that yet? Uh, I've got some that I can do. I'll be, definitely will be do, producing more work for Is that Is this going to be a horse show? I know you're into yeah, horses. Yeah, <laughs> I'm in a horse phase right now. That's true. Um, probably will have some horses in there. But I always, I think that you were talking about creativity, and I think that for me is mixing it up with different things like sometimes horses will inspire me or sometimes I'm actually working on some portraits now that might inspire me and architecture always inspires me so I think you know different things can get you going and then even affects other parts of your work. How has the internet impacted your work at all? You know, um, From a marketing point of yeah, view. I mean I, I know you're on Art Specifier. Right. We're recently getting to know your work. Right, right. Um, have you tried other sites as well? You know I probably need to explore that more. I think um, I'm of the age where you know the internet, I'm not like, I didn't grow up with the internet so um, it's becoming more useful to me. I do have Facebook. So but I'm you have a, web to, a website. I have a website. So, um, it, it makes like sending out evites for different events easier, things like that. I think I could make so much more use of the internet. Um, my daughter's always telling me, Mom, how about Facebook and LinkedIn and Twitter I, and I, Pinterest? I, 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 am a, I do have LinkedIn, I do have Facebook. I don't use it enough because I think if you to make it successful, it's the kind of thing that you want to be posting things a lot. Right. I mean, so that's why I you. that is yeah. why I started Art Specifier yeah. to help artists right. do this. Right. But I encourage them to do it on their own yeah. as well. No, I agree. I think it's definitely. it's such an easy way to communicate with mm -hmm. the people. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know art consultants now; they don't even want to see yeah paper. Right. Don't send. Right. Please don't send me yep. anything. It's yep. just going to go in the trash. Yeah. No. That's Give me true. your website. You know send me some things in an email from time to time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I know I prefer to have people sending me that rather yeah. than sending me things in the mail. Yeah, well it's easier than you have it right there on your, you, you can, easy to find. Exactly. Wrestling through papers. <laughs> How important is a sense of community to you as an artist? 
You know, I think since I've only had my studio at um, Framingham now, Fountain Street, for uh, like about two years, I guess, and I, it's just been a huge improvement in my lifestyle and as an artist because I have other artists there, people to bounce things off of. If I'm having trouble with something, I go seek somebody out and have them come take a look. They do the same. So it's really nice to have that camaraderie. Um, you know, like my husband always used to say, he's a scientist, mm -hmm. and, uh, is you can't, you know, you can't do science in a vacuum. And, and art is the same way. You know, it's really nice, not that I paint with somebody, but just having other people to bounce ideas off of. Any desire to do things that are more abstract? Um, I, I like to have some feeling of, um, let's say, representational abstraction in my work. So sometimes I, I like to have a painting that people have to look at and go, hmm, what, what is, is it? What is the chair painting? That oh the, oh the, Kumar, car, the cartel, cartel, cartel chairs yeah there's there's a good example of right. that right um, it was a, a, a ch um, storefront in New York and cartel chairs there um, it's I think it's a German brand of chairs and they just look so cool and colorful and interesting so yes I I, I was you know really bridging the line I think on because I looked at that and I said what is it this woman yeah. is tending towards abstraction yeah. with this piece yeah and I, I I think several of my pieces are like that but like I said there's an there's element of yes yes because I think that's the key because I think I really do respect artists who can do pure abstraction because to me, I think that's really difficult. I need something to ground, to ground me, yeah. I understand yeah. that. Yeah. Light seems to be a constant source with your work. I mean, how you handle it, where it comes from, yeah. the reflections of the, mirror, of the windows right, or right. the doors. Alchemy is a painting I was gonna ask you about. Is that in Boston or is that? Um, actually, it's on, in Martha's Vineyard. And again, I was drawn to the lighting on that scene, and, and I'm, I'm, I take a lot of liberty, you might have noticed, with my colors, so I don't always deal with local color. I kind of do colors that I feel are going to really enhance the piece. And um, that, that piece actually ended up being purchased by Alchemy, the restaurant, is, uh, is what it's an image of. They saw it and they're like, we have to have this painting. That would make sense. Yeah. You could and make it, a living doing that alone. Yes, and, and it also won the Windsor Newton Award in the, uh, the National New England Watercolor Society show. That's great. What about awnings? That's definitely Boston. Definitely, and that's an acrylic. So that's, um, oh. that's on a canvas. And let's see, I, the size on that, I'd say it's two, 22 by 28. So it's you know decent size. And that was actually purchased at my last open studios. Um, but again, I was drawn to the interesting light and reflections that were, are in the, um, the store window. And I think you can see a little bit of abstraction there too. Again, you know what it is, you know it's buildings, but there, it, it, you, there's a little question on things. So well, I think, I think there's little cameo areas yeah, in yeah. all of your work yeah, that are a little yeah. bit more painterly or right, a little bit more right. abstract mm -hmm, that mm -hmm. are more compelling. It's what makes your work a little bit more interesting. Yeah, I, I think it's important for me to find those areas. So like when I go out on a photo shoot, I may not find, I may come back and not have a single image that I, speaks to me at all. So yeah, I'm always looking for that thing. And I seem to know it. I was like, okay, this is it. Is the dining room painting yours? Is it your it's dining, my dining room? room? It is, and it's hanging in my living room as you go into the dining room. So how many of your own pieces are in your house? <laughs> a lot, because I can't afford other people's art. <laughs> so I have a lot of my own art there. But it's good, it makes, I think, um, everybody. Good conversation. Yeah, it, it does, and everybody always says my work is generally pretty happy, so I think it, it really reflects in, in my home. I have one question to ask you. Mm -hmm. Would you please help me finish this sentence? Art is? Art is, I don't know, it, it's an enlivening. I think it's something that is necessary for everybody. I think everybody can make art, and I think everybody has an attraction to art. Thank you. You're that was great. With that, unless okay? there's anything else you really want to talk about, no, I think um, that was I okay. I think we can conclude our interview, and I appreciate your okay, coming. Thank okay, you so thank much. Thank you. Thank you.